And we're getting a lot of questions about hashtags. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, spout off your information on hashtags. Sure. I'm super interested. Let, let me give you our kind of, you know, um, and then I'm super interested in sort of where you take it and what, okay. you, what you can add. But, but basically what we generally are, are, are recommending is, um, is that people uh, be very deliberate about their hashtags, that they find hashtags that are the right and appropriate size, not too big um, and not too small, depending on the size of their account. Hashtags that basically they have the hope of getting into the top posts for um, based on the size of their account, which is algorithmic and it's based on how many likes you get and, in what's, and the speed at which you get them. Um, so uh, the hashtags that you choose should very much be the same hashtags where uh, your followers hang out or um, people that you would like to become your followers hang out. So where your content um, has a naturally feels um, yeah. at home. Whenever you search your hashtag or whichever hashtag you think fit, think fits well with your brand, um, it actually generates an entire Instagram does this. It it generates all of the hashtags that are connected to the hashtag that you are proposing. Um, so utilizing exactly what you're saying, the the full picture um, of all of those hashtags together, then that can be pretty powerful too because you might. You might have some a hashtag that you think is is well used, but there might be one that's even more powerful that's living out there. Yeah, and, and to give you an idea of the work that's involved in that, and it is work, and, it, and I don't enjoy it honestly. But um, uh, one of the top, uh, one of the sort of most liked posts that we saw a few months back um, was uh, by an account that that generally it was reasonably successful, but let's say on average it got like 500 likes per post. And she used um, hashtag DS looking, which is des design sponge looking. Okay. Um, so if you want your um, content to get in front of people at Design Sponge Magazine, then use mm -hmm. this branded hashtag. And Design and, and Design Sponge Magazine um, uh, took took her up on that post. I think actually I think she just ended up in the top posts of that. And that's a very niche. Um, sure. Hashtag, right? Sure. Hashtag DS looking. It's not, you wouldn't right, think right. of that hashtag up, but she knew that that's where her people were. Mm -hmm. And it went in the top post of that. And, and if memory serves, I think she was in and around the 10,000 like mark. So it okay. just like, you know, yeah. massive. And I think she added 50 or 100 new followers that day. Sure. Um, so so that's that's the game really finding those hashtags where you can where you can go and of course you want to be saving lists of hashtags and notes exactly. and so that you can reuse them and yeah and um, using hashtags throughout your post there's kind of there are two different schools of thought on this and there's the kind of sprinkling your hashtags throughout your post as right. as words within content um, and then there's the saving them up all toward the bottom um, I and then there's the comment as yeah, and then the comment as all of the comment. hashtags. Um, as a social media manager, I see all of them. So anything that you're um, you're tagging with hashtag day designer that comes through on the analytics profile or the the monitoring profile that I use. Um, so I'm all, I see everything. Um, all seeing, um, <laughs> <laughs> and so I really I'm watching for all of those things. But at the same time, it just is cleaner if if they are kind of hidden away, especially, I think that that's a big part of why Instagram kept your, like the top two to three lines of your content and then are pushing everything to a read more, mm -hmm. um, is because so many hashtags were just taking up big chunks of space on Instagram as you're scrolling, that it really made it look junky. Um, they're really, really, really effective, um, especially if you can get them into the top post within that hashtag, but for the most part, it's um, it's better to go on the clean side than than to kind of sprinkle them throughout.